my friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a beta flight flight controller with a Tyrannus transmitter from scratch. Step number one, flash the correct firmware. If you don't know what version that is, ask the dude who sold you the flight controller. When you connect your flight controller to the computer and start the BetaFlight configurator, it might connect automatically. Click on Disconnect in this case, and then on Firmware Flasher. This is the Beta FPV F3 flight controller, and I'm using the generic BetaFlight F3 target in version 3.2 Final. Enable full chip erase and then look into the light. Sorry. And now hold your breath and wait for the respawn. If the programming was successful, you should be able to click on connect now. Unless you have a dedicated target for your platform, you will need a few basic settings for your model. Most of these things you can configure with buttons in the interface, but I like to use these settings here that I saved earlier because I can just copy them into the CLI, the command line interface, and set a lot of things at the same time. Now, watch this. I typed save and hit enter. You need to do this if you want to write your settings to the board. Otherwise, sorry, shit gets forgotten. Third and final step is to set up the transmitter. On every flight controller, the bind procedure might be different. On this one, I press the bind button and then power it on. Next. Put the transmitter into bind mode and then check in the receiver tab if you see your sticks moving. If your sticks are moving but not in the correct order, you might have to reconfigure the channel map. The default channel map of OpenTX is TAER, Throttle Aileron Elevator Rudder. So just go into the channel map in BetaFlight and type T-A-E-R, one, two, three, four. And always hit save, otherwise you know the drill. Sorry. Once you have confirmed stick allocation and direction, you need to configure the endpoints. You need to make sure that the reach of all sticks goes outside of stick min and stick max. I want to set my lower endpoints to 1010 and my upper endpoints to 1990. And to do that, I move the sticks to their endpoints and then adjust the respective value in the outputs mixer in OpenTX. Next channel, I move roll all the way to the left and then configure the lower endpoint of channel 2 until I see 1010 in the output. Then I move the roll stick all the way to the right and configure the upper endpoint of channel 2 until I see around 1990. Now I do the same for channel 3 and channel 4. Now in order to use the maximum of the input range that your transmitter provides, you should set your stick min and stick max values right inside your stick throw. So I like to set them at 1020 and 1980. 
for reasons I don't remember, I have forgotten to do this while recording the video, so I put the correct values into the overlay for you. Main takeaway here, your stick endpoints should be barely but securely outside of stick min and stick max. You should also center your sticks using the output mixer, but yeah. Sorry. I forgot doing that while recording this video. Instead, you can see me fumbling around in the channel 5 settings in order to set up a dual switch arming setup. I go into logical switches and configure L1 to be active when SA and SD are active. So only when both sticks are active the quad will be armed. That also means I can disarm it with flicking either switch to the outside. Now in order to make this logical switch change channel 5, I go in here and configure a conditional switch in channel 5 saying this should only be active when L1 is active. All the way at the end here, logical switch number 1. Now both switches will set AUX1 to high. Now that concludes my basic setup. That's what I'm doing for every flight controller. Now of course you can start to set up your modes, configure your rates and your PIDs, etc. As usual, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. See you later.